everybody, so today's video is going to be my January favorites and I'm so excited for this video! I have, have been like in love with my January favorites products and pretty much all of the products that I've gotten since my birthday. I've been showing you guys in so many different hauls all the products that I've been getting and I've been testing them out and I seriously, there's not a product, like a single product that I don't like. So I'm so incredibly happy to bring you guys these. And um, the ones I didn't mention, they might be in my February favorites video because I do a thing where I kind of pick out certain things that I have to wear, like that I have to make myself use for the week and then they end up being like my favorite product so it was really 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 hard to pick like one of my favorites because I was using so many different things but these are kind of the things where like if I was wearing something else I'd be like "Ooh, I wish I could have worn that that would have been a lot better but I wore it a little bit too much this month so that's kind of how I pick my favorites for this month and it's just a lot of beauty products um, actually they're all beauty products, so I hope that's okay. I, I'm just kind of like a beauty girl and that's what I like to spend my money on. So, um, that's pretty much what you guys are going to see. So, I am just going to get into this video because this intro is getting pretty long. Okay, starting off with face, um, I'm going to show you guys my favorite primers. I've been trying a few primers and, um, I've been liking the ones I've been using so far. So I kind of want to like expand and try a lot of different like drugstore primers because I got samples of these too. This is a NARS oil free pro prime pore refining primer and this was a hundred point perk for um from Sephora and this is my Urban Decay D Slick in a tube. This I've only been using for a couple weeks but seriously I've been using ever every single day since I started using it and I usually like to switch off between like the hard candy one which I also really like. I, it's just not like my absolute, absolute favorite, but Jess gave that to me and I still really, really like it. So, um, yeah, you guys might see that in a later favorites video. But I have been really obsessed with trying different primers. And then, for my foundation, of course, you guys know I love the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. I'm never going to go back to any other foundation. I got this about a month ago, and seriously, I just... I used so much of it. It's bad. It's it's really bad. Okay, and bad. still going along with face, this is my favorite concealer. It's a Maybelline um, Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles, and my shade is called Light Pale. And it is a little bit light for me, but I kind of did that on purpose because I really want the area under my eyes to be light, and it's just... It's just really nice. I love this stuff. And I've also been using one from Milani too. But I've only been using that for a week and I still really like it. So um, yeah, if you guys want to see my Milani haul, I got some things from Milani from the CVS sale. And I kind of went a little bit crazy. So if you guys want to see that, just tell me down below and then I will do that for you And guys. then still going along with face, I'm going to show you guys my last favorite face product. And it is, of course, my Rimmel Lasting Finish Blush in Berry. And Jess got this for me. And I seriously, like, had to remove this from my grasp. I know I say this all the time, but I seriously, like, had to hide this. Because I completely was getting into a blush rut. And I had so many different blushes to try and stuff that I couldn't just use one blush. It was just, it was um, just a nightmare. Yeah, I'm not wearing it today because I did a tutorial and I just don't want this to show up in, in so many of my videos that it gets annoying to people. So I'm going to try to use different and blushes. And then for lip products, I've been loving the Revlon Lip Butter in um, Sugar Frosting. This is just like, it has virtually no color at all. But it is so nice and I've been using it so much that like seriously look at this. Look at how much I've used. It's bad. It's really bad. But I love this product and I don't like a lot of lip products. I'm not wearing any today. So that says something if I've been using it almost every single day. And when I do wear it, I make sure I have a little bit of color on my lips. So I've been using the Posy Tint by Benefit, which is my favorite, favorite lip product. This also Jess gave me and I was so excited that she gave me this because... I love this product and it takes a lot for me to like a lip product. She also got me a lip pencil that I've been loving. I just can't find my jumbo sharpener, but it's the best lip pencil ever. You guys can see it in my haul. It was in like my and last And then moving haul. on to eyes. I love eye stuff, but I only have a few different eye products that I've been liking. I loved um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer and I'm so picky about primers. I usually just love my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and that's pretty much it. 
And then I also love the Juju eyeshadow pencil from Urban Decay. This creases a little bit on me. This doesn't make my eyeshadows crease at all, which is phenomenal. And then this one actually does, and a lot of people say that these don't crease on them, but my eyelids are extremely, extremely oily. Like, it's just bad, like a bad situation. But I don't really care. Like, I still use them because I know that no matter what, like, most of the time my eyeshadow is going to crease anyway. And the last two favorite eyeshadow products, and they're also my last two favorite makeup products, are um, these two, which look really similar. It's a Too Faced Smoky Eyeshadow Kit, and then the Rue 21 Natural Eye Kit. I got this from Jess, and this was actually hers, and she didn't use it that much, and I don't even know why, because look at these colors. They're so gorgeous. I love this better than the Naked Palette, um, just because they're colors that are more my style. The only color that I don't really use is this, um, this color called Seashell, and that's because I don't normally use dark dark shimmery browns like I like to use dark matte browns preferably but um I don't know I'll find a use for it for it. every single other color I love I absolutely adore this palette it's a palette that's seriously like it was made for me like these are the neutrals that I just love and gravitate towards so I was really happy that I got that so thank you Jess for giving me so many products that made it to my favorites. and then um also <laughs> this palette it's something that I got for my birthday, and I just love it. It's a Too Faced Smoky Eye palette, and it's just so pretty. I am so proud of myself for buying this palette because usually I will buy something that either has, like, a lot of neutrals or just something that has really, really fun colors, and I completely did not own a lot of smoky eyeshadow colors aside from, like, my big palettes, my like 88 color palettes that had some smoky colors in it. Like that's all I had. So I'm super duper excited that I actually bought this and um, they're actually super wearable colors. They, they are really smoky but you can kind of like tone them down. You also have like a color, a really nice purple and then this really like unique like antique gold dirty bronze color which I think is just phenomenal so I really love those two eyeshadow palettes okay and I have three other beauty related products that are my favorites I love this nail polish in Tickle My Francie it's from OPI and it's actually just a mini size but I will never go through a full bottle of nail polish this was seriously on my nails for like two weeks I love this stuff Okay, and then the next product that I have is a fragrance, and it's from Victoria's Secret, and it's the Fragrance Mist in Victoria's Secret Angel, and I never use the same spray, like, for more than a week at a time. I always use, like, something for two or three days, and then, or something every other day, or just something different every day, pretty much, because I have such a huge collection. If you guys want to see my Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret collection, then I will let you guys see it. It's just a little bit much. It's so excessive. Like, it's such a problem. But this is actually my sister's, and I've been using it every day, so that's what it looks like. And it just smells so good. I don't even know what it smells like. It just smells amazing. Okay, and the last product and most exciting product um, is the Clean and Clear Foam Foaming Facial Cleanser for sensitive skin and the reason why this is the most exciting product is because my skin is my biggest 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 problem that I've ever had I seriously I hate my problem skin but I'm so glad that I have this because seriously if I had to choose one skincare product out of all the ones that I have it would be this one because it has virtually nothing in it like it seriously just cleanses your face and that's all it does it doesn't have any other specific purpose it doesn't stop your acne or anything all that stuff I don't know I talk about it more in my skincare video but I seriously love this because I know that it works I've had other people that have told me that it works and my friend Tamarin actually asked me what cleanser was in my video so hey Tamarin if you're watching this um she's actually one of my best best friends and we don't hang a lot out a lot as much as we used to but we were friends all through high school and she has the same like acne type skin that I do and we always were so frustrated because people honestly that's all they said about me. I don't know if I don't know if anybody said anything like that about her or to her or anything, but it got to the point where like my best friend was saying stuff and about me and my Cameron acne. were just like so frustrated with everything. We were like, our doctors are telling us to do this, but you know, this doesn't work. So I'm glad that I found something on my own that works. And um 
yeah, it just makes me really feel really good because I actually went out and spent my own money on this and it actually like completely works for my skin and it's not that expensive. So I hope that you guys all enjoy this video and um, I hope that you guys like my favorite products. So I will talk to you all later and have a good day. Bye!